Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn C++. From Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. Subscribe. Today, we're going to be looking at a function. So what is a function? So, well, first, let's write the essentials. Write the essentials. Include stuff. Include IO stream. I know it's going to be here. Using name space. STD. Standard turret. Damn it! I don't know. Um, okay. It probably just means standard and I'm overreacting. And then, int main. Those are the standards, right? So now, uh, say we want to use a function to print, hey, hello. So, what would we do? Well, first, we need to print, uh, print void. Void will define uh, the name of a function. Now, let's call this function something that I do not know. That is a very long name, but stick with it. Now, something that I do not know, let's say I want it to print the statement count hey hi and out uh, so that's uh, just going to mean that when i run this function it's going to say hey hi now all i would would need to do is boop bop right oh yeah we got that wait what Something that I do not. <gasps> hmm. Let's see why we what we did wrong. It's just supposed to be this, but it says undeclared identifier, even though we declare it at the end. That's because obviously a computer runs from top to bottom, so grabs the library namespace std, so no annoying stuff. And then let's look at the command, something that I do not know. Uh, that, uh, the computer does not know what uh, this means because it hasn't read this statement yet. It uh, doesn't know if this statement will plug into this. So it hasn't read something that I do not know's value yet. And so it errors, undeclared identifier. This hasn't been declared yet. This hasn't been applied. So what can we do to do this? We can... Uh, the most efficient solution, the one that I like, is... Um, hmm, this. We take this thing and we put it here. Uh, what the this? Um. All right. So now, uh, never mind what text is in here, but we see that we get "Hey, hi" in uh, the input section because now, and it knows beforehand that something that I do not know is uh, going to print out, hey, hi. And then when it sees it in the command folder, in main, it just plugs in that value into uh, the uh, command folder, uh, making this essentially the same as this. These are basically equal to each other. I represent that as a hashtag. Wait, how do you, oh, I think it's asterisk in new versions. Nope. Hmm. Um, so now I have no idea how to take notes. Yay. But these are essentially equal to each other. Oh no, oh no. Uh. So these 
commands are essentially equal to each other because the computer knows something that I do not know will print out this and therefore print, uh, uh, make it the same as if you just put out count hey hi there. It's going to be a very useful tool when you want, uh, when you um, only remember the name of a command and would not what it, the name of a function and not what it does. You don't want to scroll back all the way up. It's gonna be pretty annoying, especially when you have lots of lines of code. I uh, saw, I know a, a guy who made uh, uh, internet media and he probably used a lot of functions because guess how many lines of code he used in his HTML code? 3,912. So it would be pretty annoying to scroll all the way up and then all the way back down to see write, write the command of the function. So you can just write the name of the function and boom, it does whatever the function is. Pretty useful, if I do say so myself. So now, um, we can, I'm pretty sure that, it, it, whoa, uh, command Z. So command C, I'm pretty sure that we can repeat this. Oh, shoot, I forgot a semicolon. So, if we can repeat this twice, we see that it gives you us two copies. So, um, so, let's say count double readings. So, if, okay, so count do you want, this is a really weird idea for a program. But then we're going to use our knowledge of if statement, if greetings, this is really weird, equal one, so if greetings equal one, we will say this. Something that I do not know, but if greetings, oh shoot, I should put a parenthesis first. If greetings equal equal two, then um, we can say that we can command read this twice so now let's see what oh shoot now let's see what happens when we want the output okay. okay so um never mind that but if we uh, input in one oh one coming up. Oh, I put quotation marks. I think I wasn't supposed to put quotation marks. Was I? Oh, it was. Oh, shoot. shoot. Uh, how do I put the. Shoot. Uh, never mind what you saw in those few seconds of the main tab being open, but. Okay. If we say one, oh, command still not found. Hmm.
seemed like the Tabari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming. 